I would say practicing more and more a DSA part with that programming language so that it will be easy for them in order to write the code and uh, understand it properly. Okay. And this summer, uh, I have interned with the BNY Mellon and later I got the full time opportunity for this. Year. Hi and welcome back to Coding Ninjas guys. I'm Kapil Singh and I'm here with another spectacular interview experience for you guys. So today we're going to talk to Abhishek and understand how his interview experience was where he sat for the company BN by Melon and uh, I'm going to understand what actually happened at his interview. How did he go forward with it? How many rounds were there? And then, you know, every round we're going to exaggerate properly. We're going to elaborate it and then we're going to brief it out for you guys. So let's talk to Abhishek and understand how it was. Hi, Abhishek. How are you doing? Yeah. Hi, Kabir. I'm fine and I'm doing good. That's great. Abhishek, can you give me a small introduction about yourself? Yeah, sure. So, hi, hello guys. My name is Abhishek Trivedi and I'm a final year undergraduate at Motilan Lehru National Institute of Technology, popularly known as NIT Allahabad. And basically, I'm from Agra, Uttar Pradesh. Okay. And this summer, I have interned with the BNY Mellon, like Bank of New York Mellon. And later, I got the full-time opportunity for this year. That's great. That's great. So how many rounds were there when you sat for the interview at BN Babel? Yeah, there were basically three rounds. Like the first one is an online coding round. And then those who are shortlisted for the other rounds, they have the two more rounds. Okay. So what happened in the first very round? So first, uh, in the first round, basically we have given the four coding problems. And the mode is the online and the platform is HackerRank. So okay. basically in the first round, basically we have a four coding problems and we have to solve that uh, coding problem within a time span of uh, you can 90 minutes. So okay. those who have solved all the problems, they are uh, go for the tech interview. Okay. So when we talk about four questions and you have 90 minutes to solve Abhishek, can you tell me how difficult was it? Was it easy? medium or hard when you talk about the difficulty level of the interview because uh, you know four questions four proper DSA full-fledged questions to be coded out in 90 minutes is a little difficult for a lot of students out there because uh, we can say you get an average of around say what uh, maybe 20 minutes for one question each 20 yeah. 25 minutes per question so was it difficult for yeah. you yeah it was quite challenging for me in order to complete uh, all these four questions in the time 90 minutes mm -hmm. so basically the level of the question is more towards the medium to hard category like the okay. first question is uh, i would rate like uh, it was an easy question and uh, the other three questions are more towards the medium to hard and uh, okay. if we are talking about the topic particular then they are uh, related to the dp and uh, one more is a graph okay that's great that's great okay so now moving on to the tech round basically what happened in that it is about uh, 45 to 60 minutes round mm -hmm. and in this basically the interview will going to be asked about uh, your project you have done uh, so far and the basic uh, oops concept object oriented programming concepts and okay. uh, the if you have read about the like operating system then they will ask uh, questions from the operating system also okay. and uh, uh, later they are going to be asked the one coding problem and uh, the coding problem is the choice of the interviewer uh, it, it will be of one or two yeah okay. so for me uh, they have asked only one question when i come to the difficulty of this interview experience like this round how is it yeah the difficulty of this round is also uh, i would rate like medium to hard category the coding problem is good but it is a quite a standard one so i have done already on the various platform like the lead code so uh, it is easy for me like for other they have asked like the practical tech question they have asked it is more towards the practical part like they are given me a situation and in order to answer like the real time situation and i have to answer like how efficient uh, the answer that i would give uh, to the interview then he will be happy or he will be accordingly okay right that's great that's great moving forward to the final round what actually happened in that the final round is one more crisp and the interview is was there like uh, some students have three technical rounds uh, okay. and some uh, of having only two technical rounds for okay. me i have faced only two interviews like uh, okay. there are two technical rounds and for other they are uh, facing three, three technical rounds okay. so in the third round the, the interview will ask about hr type questions they are asking about the technical code problem also and mm -hmm. The, the coding question they have also asked to me right like the one coding question is also yeah they have asked okay 
and how was it difficulty of that yeah. round then the interview just uh, reading all the points you have mentioned in the resume and they are asking about the one by one why have you have mentioned this have you done earlier or something like they are just figure out all the valid points you have mentioned in the resume and later they have asked me a question which is related to the programming and uh, this round i would say it is more towards the easy to medium category not uh, just uh, like the lengthy round or i would say like uh, there is no such difficulty or type of question they have asked right 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 that's great so yeah. now before we conclude this interview experience abhishek i want to ask you one last question which is if you want to suggest or you want to advise your juniors or the people watching this video today about any tips or tricks towards you know studying for your placements what would be your piece of advice for them so basically those who are prepared for the internship and placement rounds so and basically they have to much familiar about the dsa part right. so in the dsa part there are various platforms they can practicing on them uh, but i would suggest like they have to first figure out the one programming language in which they are feel comfortable like i would say practicing more and more a dsa part with that programming language so that it will be easy for them in order to write the code and uh, understand it properly and uh, like once they are familiar with the programming and then uh, dsa part then they start parallelly studying about the core subject of the computer science like the oops right. concept and uh, like the operating systems and the dbms these subject they are uh, parallelly start and there are a lot of material like i would say like the, now the coding ninja has also started dsa series and there are right. various uh, good platforms good courses which are available on the coding ninjas also right. and uh, like for me i have prepared like the csc core subject from the gfg before this it gives me a like a truly uh, environment that the uh, practically in uh, other companies will be going to be happen that is how they can follow the road map and they will definitely get success that's great thank you so much thank you so much abhishek for coming up and you know helping us out with this interview experience i'll you know recommend you guys to read his article also abhishek has written an article for us and i'll put the link in the description below you can go and have a look at it and always uh, you know try and understand what are the actual problems that were asked to him so thank you abhishek for helping us out with this interview experience and i hope you guys liked it hit the like button and the subscribe button i'm going to see you in the next one happy coding guys